What's up, YouTube? Be more tactical here, man, with another video. Appreciate y'all for checking out the channel and showing me some love, man, uh, for the few videos we've uploaded so far. As promised, gonna keep hitting y'all with some uh, fresh content, man. And so, you already saw the link in the description, or the description in the link. Uh, we're gonna do an unboxing today. I'm uh, adding a little something to the collection, man. We got a new member to the family, but I'm gonna give y'all a little background, a little story on how this purchase kind of came about. Sorry for any noise in the background. Got a uh, American Bulldog, man. This dog is crazy. Um, just to get y'all heads up, up front. Um, whenever he hear the slide rack on the gun, if he hear me doing any dry firing, or if I if I pull a gun out to safe, like he go crazy. I don't know why, but my dog like guns as much as I do. Um, so I had to put him up. Um, because otherwise, as I, if I opened this box up and he saw it, he'd be all up here in the middle of the video. So um, I gave him something I think will distract him long enough for me to get through this video. Anyway, um, so during my collection video, I kind of talked about uploading a uh, unboxing for, for something I was real excited to get. So cat's out of the bag now. It was a SIG P365XL with the Romeo Zero. We got a problem though. So I ordered it from Cabela's. Um, and if anybody's ever ordered from Cabela's and had some other problems, certainly let me know. Drop it in the comment section, man. But I ordered a SIG uh, P63, P365XL with the Romeo Zero. If you guys don't know what the Romeo Zero is, um, it is a, a red dot optic that sits on top of the slot. Um, the firearm, I believe, was 669. Um, if you guys are familiar, the SIG, uh, the 365XL normally sells retail most places around $579. So I'm getting a red dot at that point for $90. Um, I had this uh, promo code, man. My friends tell me I'm the king of promo codes and shit. But I had a promo code that was going to give me like $35 off that purchase uh, through Cabela's. So I was going to pay like $630 for this shit. Like I was, I was pumped. Couldn't wait. Um, plus, my current um, everyday carry is a um, Springfield Hellcat that also has a red dot on it. So, um, you know, if, if I can kind of keep that consistency with my carries having, um, you know, red dots, well, not that I'm solely dependent on it, but I wanted to kind of keep that consistency. Um, so, ordered it in May. Uh, what is this? Today's August 2nd, 2020. Um, I got an email probably <clears throat> two weeks ago. Cancel the order. It was back ordered all this time and they canceled it. So um, I was screwed out of uh, waiting almost, it was almost like two months at the time for it. Um, so I, you know, got back on the hunt to try to find another uh, 365XL because at this point, like a two, for two months, I had my mind wrapped around the fact that, that I'm getting to join. Um, and I ended up finding one on Palmetto State, um, ordered that. I got it with about a, within about a week at my FFL. So let's get into it. Let's check it out, man. And so uh, let's see what comes in here. Um, for me, you know, I, I like to, so I'm at the point in time right now in my collection and, you know, just kind of getting um, really uh, into firearms where for me, each purchase I have, it really has to have a particular intent behind it right now. Um, most of it's probably bullshit justification that I use to purchase them, but I like to have a function behind what, how I intend to use it. Um, I'm of the mindset that really, so far, any pistols that I've purchased, uh, they give me the opportunity to carry. That was the main reason why I got into firearms. They have the ability to conceal carry, and so um, I haven't really gotten into full-size guns yet. I intend to. Um, I have a few compacts. Uh, this would actually fall into the category of a micro-compact, as does the Hellcat. Um, but I like to have the option to kind of carry. Certainly, I understand it's important to kind of have that consistency, but I also believe that you should have really a backup to everything that you have. Um, anything could happen. I could have to send my Hellcat in to get service. This may become my primary carry. The Hellcat may be the backup, um, but I believe in kind of have, I may have something to have to get serviced. If I end up having to use my firearm, it can be taken for a while. Um, if I have to, anything happens. Um, I, I like to kind of have a backup alternative. Same thing with my compacts. Most of those, I kind of use those around the house as far as for home defense with a larger mag capacity. Um, not that that's important, but I believe in kind of having at least, you know, multiple ones just in case to have a backup just in case. Anyway, let's get into this, man. So, I'm going to bust this open. So, 
Uh, this is, we'll set this to the side for now. All right, what comes in the box? You get two 12 round mags. Okay, you get two 12 round mags. The mags aren't loaded, I haven't uh, had the opportunity to shoot this yet. I was gonna go to the range today. Gotta find some ammo first. That's a story for another video. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, Sig, congratulations on your purchase. Once you buy some of their ammo, which I've heard is pretty good. Sticker, got your manual, which I do recommend going through and reading. I will do that when I have some time. A warning, talking about, I think, some uh, possible accessories for it. So obviously, ammo, holster. Sig also has the Foxtrot and Lima, which is either a light or a laser for your 365 or 365 XLs. The firearm. Here it is. So the 365 XL comes in two versions. Show you guys it's not loaded again. He gonna go off when I rack this. Maybe he won't because he's busy with his toy. Cool, it's not loaded. Sorry about that. So uh comes with two 12 round mags. If uh, you're familiar with the 365, the OG, uh, that one does not, um, that one comes with the 10 round mag. The 10 round mag will not fit in this. The uh, grip on this one is longer, therefore it will not fit um, the 10 round mags, okay? And um, you have 15 round mag that you can purchase for the 365 as well, um, or the 365 XL. If you're throwing it on the 365 XL, the base plate's actually smaller. There is a larger base plate that is available if you're, well, the 365 obviously is a grip shorter. Uh, this has a 3.7 inch barrel. Um, like I said before, it's considered a micro compact. It does have the uh, X-ray three night sights on it. Uh, as you can see here, there you go. It's a optic ready on the slide. It does have a bit of a mag weld that kind of helps, helps with those reloads. Um, different than the 365, it has a flat trigger, as you can see here. Okay, instead of the uh, curved trigger that's on the 365, this one has a 90 degree break. We'll see if we can show you here. Breaks right there at the 90 degree. All right. Chris, reset, nice break. So this is the uh, 365XL, man. So I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like with the uh, 15 round mag in it. Here we go. That's with the 15 round. Not too bad. Um, you see a little bit hanging off, but nothing crazy. Um, fits pretty nice. The ergonomics on this is crazy, man. I'm uh, really excited about this. Let me show you guys the sights. See if we can see. Alright, you see the night sights that come on. I'm terrible at trying to get this lined up. There we go. Where's our sight picture? Got it. I'm gonna give you guys a visual as well in comparison to the Hellcat. They're about the same height. However, you'll see the difference there in the slot length. Um, so my plans for the 365 XL, man, I'm thinking about getting the, um, I need a holster for it. I'm looking at some G unit holsters. I've heard great things about those, man. So I might actually grab that. Um, I, I saw the other day at a local store, the, uh, Romeo zero. I know you can get it aftermarket for about 200. So we'll see. I might actually look into adding that as well. Um, might want to add that. I still kind of like the idea of getting the uh, optic on that man but i was so pumped to get this joint man um can't wait to get it to the range um and see if it can unseat the hellcat as my everyday carry um i do know a lot of people already have the 365 it's kind of known as really one of the best carry options out there 
Um, I, I did have a chance to kind of shoot one, shoots phenomenally well, um, but I like the idea of um, just having a little bit longer of a slide to kind of help with uh, really just kind of getting back less, slightly less recoil on XL. I'm gonna uh, give you guys a look at really some of the differences with the uh, 365. So with the 365, this is a buddy of mine's. This is his uh, 365 SAS. Uh, for some of you guys that know, it's not loaded either, by the way. Uh, the SAS actually does not have sights on the top. It's an integrated sight system that kind of comes through the back of the slot. Let's see if we can get it. There you go. Come back. You look through the slot, damn it. But it's not what this video is about. Um, I want to just kind of show you a difference. And you guys can see that there from the original 365 length compared to the XL. As I stated before, let's see, it's one of my 12 round mags. The 12 round can go in there. Obviously, you would um, need to add a base plate just to kind of clean that up a little bit. Um, but just to kind of give you an idea, um, the grip would still work. It would actually give it a nice grip on there if you throw the 12 round mag in. Uh, the 15 obviously fits, uh, but if you can use your imagination, it comes with a larger base plate to fill in that. Uh, but it does look a little bit awkward because such a short slide on 365. But it works nonetheless. Just wanted to give you guys some comparisons to consider, but again, man, I'm super excited about adding the uh, 365XL. This might actually uh, unseat the Hellcat as my everyday carry, man. I just gotta get uh, get me a holster and uh, get it to the range, obviously put some rounds through it so I can make sure I can depend on it and uh, consider whether I'm gonna add that optic, man. But again, y'all, thanks for checking out the video. Um, go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. You liked the video, hit the like button. And I'll uh, catch you guys on the next one, man. Thanks for checking this out.